This is the Optoma UHD 42 and it could be one of the most important projectors released this year if you like watching movies and playing games. Let's see why. Hot on the heels of last year's gaming projector, the HD29H, which offered 120Hz refresh rate for gaming, double that of traditional TVs and projectors, the UHD42 now offers a massive 240Hz, that's 240 frames per second, which is as fast as the latest high-end PC gaming monitors, and four times that of traditional TVs and projectors. Where the HD29H was a 1080p projector, meaning that to get to the speed we had to choose to sacrifice resolution, this time it also offers 4K UHD visuals as well, basically the best of both worlds. Watching movies or playing slower paced cinematic games can be done at full 4K, giving the best detail possible, whilst faster paced and competitive games can be played at 1080p, 240Hz, offering ultra fast response times and super smooth frame rates, giving you a competitive edge. So let's take a look at the specs and features features and then we can do some testing. As I've already mentioned, this is a 4K projector offering the full 3840 by 2160 UHD resolution via a Texas Instruments DLP chip. It offers 3400 ANSI lumens of light output which means it's bright enough to use this projector in a room with soft lighting or some ambient light without problems. It also offers support for both HDR10 and HLG HDR, so movies should look great teamed up with the 500,000 to 1 contrast ratio. For setup, there's 1.3 times zoom lens giving you plenty of freedom for placement and also a vertical lens shift feature allowing you to adjust the picture up and down too. On the back there are two HDMI inputs and one VGA, plus a USB power for smart dongles like a Chromecast, Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield. For audio there are 3.5mm in and out jacks and an optical audio output. Lastly there's a 12 volt output and a serial port if you need them for your home cinema setup. As is usual for Optoma projectors, you also get built-in speakers which are useful in a pinch or for more portable use and a handy backlit remote for when you're watching or playing in the dark. This model also adds back-in support for 3D too, which was dropped from many of last year's models, but it's certainly nice to have as many previous projector owners will have bought into the tech and still want to use it now and again. So that's it for the on-paper specs, let's see how the UHD42 performs. We're going to compare it to what we think is an obvious choice as a previous generation model, the UHD 300X. At launch it had a slightly higher price point of £1400 versus the UHD 42 at £1300 and it was one of the first affordable 4K projectors onto the market in 2018. It'll be interesting to see how the two compare as there is a potential to upgrade to get the latest features. We won't be comparing the previously mentioned HD29H as that's a cheaper price point only offering 1080p, so it's not really a fair comparison. Between these two then, we can see that the new UHD42 is significantly smaller than the 300X, which would make it more portable. The connection offering is exactly the same. It would have been nice though to see the new model offering two HDMI ports with the 2.0 standard this year, allowing 4K 60Hz plus HDR on both, but as per the UHD 300X, one is of the 1.4 variety offering just 4K 30Hz. For most, it shouldn't be a deal breaker as you will likely plug in devices via an HDMI splitter and then have just one cable going into the projector. For setup, both models also have pretty much the exact same offering, with a 1.3 times zoom and vertical picture adjustment, and the throw distance is exactly the same too. You could get a 100 inch picture from about 3.5 metres away from your screen. 
Looking at the video performance on its own, the UHD 42 looks fantastic. The brightness is impressive and colours pop, especially when running in the HDR mode. We're projecting onto Optoma's own 92-inch pull-down white screen here in our studio, and the quality of the image looks great in either 4K or 1080p. Both of these projectors offer 100% of the REC 709 colour space, so colours are nice and accurate. However, there isn't full support for the higher DCI P3 or BT2020 standards as you might get in higher end projectors or TVs. All in, we're very happy with the picture performance given the price point. It's when we start to compare the two that we really start to see the benefits of this new model. Straight away, the extra lumens of the UHD 42 shine through, offering a much brighter picture as you can see in this side-by-side -side shot. One of the other benefits of the new model is its much faster response time of 15 milliseconds versus the UHD 300X at approximately 30 milliseconds. You can actually see the difference as we scroll up and down here. When it comes to playing content, the extra brightness makes the picture on the new model seem to offer not just better brightness, but also better black levels too, as you can see in this side by side. At the same time, it is worth noting that both of these projectors look fantastic and either would be a good buy. The UHD 300X is still available at a much cheaper price point too. So, if you don't need the extra brightness in your setup and you're not committed to competitive gaming, then it's still a really good option. Lastly, we can take a look at the UHD 42's biggest feature, that 240Hz refresh rate. Anyone who's experienced a high frame rate gaming of 120Hz or more will tell you that it just feels better. But it's extremely hard to get across on a video like this, as you simply can't show the difference in real time unless the viewer already has a display with the same refresh rate. Lucky for us, a lot of work has been done recently to help show the differences. Take a look at this clip from NVIDIA showing the difference between the standard 60Hz you get from a traditional TV, projector or monitor. As you can see, the movement is much smoother at the top, meaning you can be more accurate and react quicker with higher levels of precision. In fact, NVIDIA did a study last year to see how much difference it makes for competitive gamers. You can see the improvement in player performance as the refresh rate goes up. That's not all of the story though. Recently, we've seen gaming monitors that do offer 240 hertz speeds, but using pixels that can't always keep up, resulting in blurring or ghosting. Various techniques have come out to help with this, like the use of backlight strobing. So, how does our projector fare when we put it to the test? The good news here is that even though there are no anti-blur or ghosting techniques used in projectors, the DLP chip that Optima favours in their projectors is extremely fast, as much as a thousand times the speed of current LCD technology, so it should be able to display all of those pixels without any problems. The UFO test is used to show how well a monitor works at given hertz rates. The spaceship should be clear and moving smoothly across the screen right up to the maximum hertz rates of your display, with the lower rates then showing you how it would look in comparison. This is where this projector shines, easily producing a perfect blur-free image at 240 hertz. It's possibly the best we have ever seen, but there's absolutely no blur at all. Even if we up the speed to maximum, enough to kill all but the most expensive monitors where we have to use a high-speed camera just to see what it looks like, as it's just too fast to capture, we can still see that the image is pretty much perfect. This is seriously impressive. Time to fire up a high-speed game to do some real-world testing. Here, we're using CSGO with the UHD 300X on the left and the UHD 42 on the right. The 42 is running at 240Hz, whilst the 300X is running 60Hz. Unfortunately, you can only see the 60Hz on this video. But what you can see between these two is the difference in colour performance and also the faster response time where you can see the movement happen earlier on the 42. In competitive gaming, that could be the difference between winning and losing. So in conclusion, is the UHD 42 worth buying? Well, the fact is that this is the first projector on the market to offer both 4K visuals for great movie watching experience with all of the latest features like HDR and HLG and at the same time finally offering a gaming experience comparable to high-end dedicated gaming monitors. At £1,300, it also comes in at a similar price to a large TV or gaming monitor, whilst offering the ability to go well over 100 inches in screen size if you have a room that can handle it. Basically, if you want a 4K projector for movies and games, then this should be on your list. 
So what do you think? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, you can buy your UHD 42 at scan.co.uk along with a wide range of other projectors at different price points.